This is BBC News with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. The author Salman Rushdie is undergoing surgery in the United States after being stabbed on stage ahead of a lecture in New York State. Here's an individual who has uh, spent decades uh, speaking truth to power, someone who's been out there um, unafraid despite the threats. Police say the suspect, Hadi Mata, is a 24-year-old man from the state of New Jersey. In other news this hour, it's been revealed that the search warrant executed on Donald Trump's Florida home was partly based on suspicion of violations of the U.S. Espionage Act. Drought is officially declared across large parts of England after the driest July in half a century. Firefighters from seven different European countries come to France's rescue as it battles a massive wildfire in the southwest of the country. Hello, wherever you are in the UK or around the world, welcome to BBC News. I'm Sean Lay. We begin this hour with the attack on the author Salman Rushdie, who was uh, uh, attacked by a man armed with a knife on stage at a literary event in Chautauqua in New York State while preparing to give a lecture at lunchtime, uh, just before lunchtime on Friday. He was flown to hospital by helicopter in Pennsylvania. Earlier, his agent confirmed he was in surgery. Salman Rushdie received death threats after publishing his book, The Satanic Verses, in 1988 and became subject of a fatwa by the then Iranian leader Ayatollah Khomeini a year later. He was in hiding for almost a decade. The BBC's North America correspondent John Subworth has more. Uh, that uh, was uh, Mubin Azhar talking to me a little earlier about his documentary on the Satanic Verses controversy involving the author Salman Rushdie. Now to Donald Trump and the search warrant executed on the former president's Florida home on Monday has been unsealed Friday by a judge after the former US president made no objection to the move. It shows that the search by FBI agents was partly based on suspicions that he was violating the US Espionage Act related to the illegal retention of sensitive defense documents. The agents removed 11 sets of documents, some classified top secret. Well, let's talk now to Dr. Shannon Bo O'Brien. She's a political scientist and Associate Professor of Instruction from the University of Texas at Austin. Um, uh, Shannon O'Brien, thank you very much for being with us on BBC News. Let me ask you, first of all, what do we know as a result of seeing this warrant about what the FBI were looking for? And was this a fishing expedition or did they have specific material in mind? Shannon Bo O'Brien, Washington Associate Professor of Instruction at the University of Texas in Austin. Thank you very much for talking Thank to us you. on BBC News. Pleasure to speak to you. Nice to speak to you. Now, let me bring you some breaking news. In the last hour, US lawmakers have adopted President Biden's sprawling climate tax and health care plan. It's called, he calls it his inf inf Inflation Reduction Act, which I guess is an aspiration as much as a le legislative achievement. It's a major win for the President Biden and includes the biggest ever US investment in the fight against global warming. The House of Representatives approved the measure uh, 220 to 207 along party lines following its adoption in the Senate on Sunday by a razor thin margin with Vice President Kamala Harris casting the tie-breaking vote there. So the Inflation Reduction Bill is now the Inflation Reduction Act, or at least it will be when President Joe Biden signs it into law and doubtless we will get a photo call for exactly that event. Do stay with us on BBC News because still to come in this hour, drought is officially declared across large parts of England after the driest July in half a century. Welcome back. You're watching BBC News. I'm Sean Lay with the latest headlines. The British, uh, the Indian-born author Sir Salman Rushdie is undergoing surgery in the US after being stabbed on stage ahead of a lecture in New York State on Friday. It's been revealed that the search warrant executed on Donald Trump's Florida home was partly based on suspicions of violation of the US Espionage Act. Now, Ukraine says Russia has shelled its towns from positions near the Zaporizhia power plant as warnings continue over fighting around the nuclear site. President Volodymyr Zelensky is accusing Russia of nuclear blackmail. Our Ukraine correspondent James Waterhouse has the latest. 
Now here, a drought order has been declared across many parts of England amidst the driest summer for half a century. Temperatures as high as 36 degrees are expected over this weekend. The BBC's Helena Wilkinson has more. Justin Roller, and thanks to Justin, I think I understood that. You're watching BBC News. Hello there. After recent extreme heat across Western Europe, 